Welcome to this edition of Video Drum by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we have just got this in, so I want to do a little bit of unboxing and discussion about this guy. So what this is, is it's a 4K sports camera. Now this is supposed to be a 360 degree camera. Now I think probably a little bit more so, this is probably a 180 camera. Um, because 360s usually have it on both ends, but hey, uh, the idea is, is I want to fly this on a drone and be able to produce 360 uh, video. And, and from a perspective standpoint, again, having that field of view forward or having a full, <clears throat> excuse me, 360 per se of, of vertically and horizontally in a forward-looking field is what I want to, want to achieve. So uh, let's take a quick look see what this is all about. So got it in, and it looks like the newer Heroes, and uh, here's the actual camera. It comes in a nice waterproof housing itself. Uh, I think we just flipped this up, so actually seems to be pretty easy to get open. And this apparently is the unit, and now you see the, the lens assembly and everything that we have here. Now this is, uh, this is rather tiny, which is, which is good. Um, so it's got a little LCD screen here on the top and a couple mode and control buttons. It's got a battery and some other port back here. Let's open it up. So back here we have for an SD card it looks like a USB and also some sort of HD output. So that's nice. Now one of the things, I'm relatively, I'm going to leave this off for the time being. I don't want to crack it putting back on. Uh, you notice the screws back here, rather nice uh, touch. And I'm going to remove this top piece for the piece. Now the only thing that I notice is that there isn't really um, a mounting bracket uh, for this. Uh, you know, quarter twenty to mount this to something, so if it's not in this case it's going to be pretty hard to mount it. And the camera itself is, is rather heavy. Um, maybe we can get some numbers on this and see. Now, let's see the reset, so it's in grams. So it's about 32 grams. Let's see how much the case is without the other. So the case actually weighs more than the camera. So this is about 41 grams. This is about 32 grams. Let's set this aside. Um, so we have this other box of stuff. Doesn't seem to be too much in it. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, I was right. There wasn't too much in it. Now at least we'd have this case. So this this is this is encouraging. So. Uh, uh, it has like a standard Gro GoPro, and it uh, looks like it opens up somehow. I'm not sure how quite. This apparently pulls up, and I thought it would just disconnect. Uh, there we go. And then this apparently must... I don't know, slides in like that? I don't know. Um... It's a good question. How this slides in. Well, it slides in some way, so obviously, so you can access those buttons. And so this must be the way it slides in, because you can access the buttons this way. And uh, mounts in there. So that's good. That makes me feel a little bit better. I don't have to use that heavy case. Uh, it does come with, it looks like a mini USB, and that is about it. Along with some instructions, uh, which talk about the various different things. Um, some hybrid Chinese English. So uh, uh, with this, Google Translate actually works pretty good. So you can show the, f you can just uh, put the phone over it, and it'll convert the Mandarin to uh, English or best facsimile. So just taking a look here, uh, it looks like it's uh, different modes because we have, uh, w which is what's really interesting. So we can go 1080p at 60 frames per second, 720 at 120 frames per second. Uh, 1440p at 30, uh, 1080p record mode. So it's got loop and some kind of regular record mode. Uh, 2.7K, uh, 4K at 24 frames. So it looks like it has built-in Wi-Fi. So it looks like a, a number of different functions. Um, looks like it can be charged from either the computer or a USB wall charger. So. That looks interesting. So I have to give it a shot. It doesn't appear to have come with an SD card, and I didn't think it did. Uh, this was rather cheap. I forget right off the top. I'll have the, the price overlaid that I paid for it. It took a couple weeks to get here from China. That's why I don't remember what the cost is. However, I really wanted to experiment with um, 
again this 360 degree uh, viewing. Now one of the pieces really to get the full effect on YouTube you'll have to upload this as a separate video or I'll have to upload it as a separate video so you know intercutting video is going to be a bit more difficult but I, I think this is going to provide for some very interesting effects uh, especially uh, for lake flying and that's really what I wanted this for is um, flying over the water and, and you know if you look back at some of my ship videos and everything to get a 360 or at least a 180 degree perspective of it with a camera like this I think would be pretty cool as well as a couple other projects that I'm working on which which aren't um, basic, you know drone based but that's for future so anyways hopefully you found this interesting um, did a bit of unboxing I'll keep you guys posted on how this works and how I'm going to fly it um, I'm going to probably put this on the uh, S500 build. Uh, it's part of the reason I've got the S500 was to fly this camera. Uh, but I might be doing another build too uh, with a fire wheel or um, a modified up air. So anyways, again, if you found this uh, interesting, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget the subscribe button coming over there. If you have comments, hit me up below. If you have one of these and you want to comment, Hey, please comment below. Be really interested in hearing from you how it works and maybe any tips or tricks that you've had. So cheers and we'll see you in the next video.